Welcome. In this module of NCCPE lecture series, now my talk is on air leaks. We will discuss about bronchopleural fistulas. Bronchopleural fistula is the communication between the pleural space and the bronchial tree. Prolonged air leak is defined if it is more than 7 days or longer and even it has been described if it is as short as 3 days. Incidence is highest in patients who undergo right pneumonectomy or right lower lobe lobectomy because of the extensive surgery required and secretions try to pull up at the stump which to avoid BPF is one of the precautions to be removed regularly. Post lung resection it is 2 to 6 percent even up to 20 percent. It is associated with significant mortality and morbidity. Bronchial pleural fistula accounts for 33 percent mortality in post operative thoracic surgeries. What are the etiologies of bronchopleural fistula? You can enumerate from post operative after lung resection, necrotizing pulmonary infection, haemophilus influenza, staphylococcus aureus, pseudomonas aeruginosa, Klebsiella pneumoniae, pneumococcus, non hemolytic streptococcus, aspergillus, histoplasma capsulatum, pulmonary abscess rupture, malignancy, advanced disease with tumor eroding into the airway, recurrence at stump from prior resection. To continue radiation therapy, penetrating thoracic trauma, complication of percutaneous lung needle biopsy, thoracocentesis, persistent spontaneous pneumothorax, rupture of bulla or cyst, ARDS, gastroesophageal reflux disease with Barrett's esophagus, Boerhaave's syndrome or it can be idiopathic. What are the non-surgical etiologies of bronchopleural fistula? The pulling of secretions and loss of tissue planes due to necrosis create a poor healing environment and possible development of a fistulous tract. The causes are mediastinal malignancy.